Hi, Bubble is a visual editor to build web apps. So I want to build an app with an input, which I'm doing now, where users can type what they're looking for. And we're going to do an API call to Google Places to get a list of places and display them on a map. So now that I'm done with the input, I'm going to start drawing in our visual editor a map element here, which is a Google Map integration. And what I want that map to display is a list of Google Places. So I pick list the list of things we want to display the Google Places, and the list I want to display is what is written by the API call. So now is the interesting part. What I'm looking for, I don't know, this is dynamic, is the content of the input. So I just pick the content of the input like this. And the location, I'm going to set it to New York. Could also be dynamic if I were using an input. And that's it. Now let's try that. So we have a web page. It's already live. If I tap restaurants, I get restaurants in Manhattan. And if I tap coffee shops, I'm going to get coffee shops as well. All right, let's see how the workflow system works. I'm going to build a sign form. So we're going to have two inputs, one for the email, one for the password. I'm copy pasting the email one to save time. And this one is for the password. And then we're going to have a button below it for, to let the user sign up. So what I want to happen here is when the user clicks on sign up, I'm going to sign the user. And this is a built-in action in our library. So that's what I'm doing now. When the button sign up is clicked, I'm going to sign the user. And the way this action works is it takes an email and a password, and as the same as I was doing with a map, I can refer to the content of the page. Now let's say I want to send an email after that, I can just pick this action. We have enough actions today to build something like Airbnb, including payments.